Welcome back to my show and okay, today I'm going to do it all off Gary Gary is to say talking for and a my rise of our age. It's an so 48 of it. And the last time that I get a snack Chelsea went into a wood games case and um and got pussy and breaking us off the case and then we we go return and confront Chrissy about or how she bring a TM and then he outwarded her a woman's rule to who set match on raw. So this time tell the story and let's play out what Chrissy Kelly's announcement is. Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship. Me! Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now! After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is, thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait, how did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of, let's have a War Games match at Survivor Series? and didn't even put me in the match. But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This, apparently, is just what you do. Playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? Oh, That's Bailey. Music, but where is she? Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind. Shotzi's found oh. an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Game Here we match. go. We thought it was all, right. all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender. A 
down at the pass. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And yes. And Check out this display of power. Lift it all the way up. Chopping oh, the down for yeah. the final prayer. That could end Bailey's night. Two. An incredible victory for the captain here tonight. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Shotzi from behind with that crutch. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Russian leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. Okay. Consistency Bailey. But after match, Shotzi accepted. It was a crutch. I know it was supposed to be an awesome science. And then into our mess up. But I gotta say, I gotta think of how Shotzi shot you down this week. Yeah, and I got a fan of that either. Or a crutch. You know what, my advice? Don't please the show either. Shotzi got it or not, you're the number one contender, and I'm the champ. She's not in charge here. Say the words, and you'll get your careful shot up in Siri next week. Words, words. I'm definitely saying the words. When it's on, you'll regret it. Regret it, I hope it you, but it's Oh, see you at Raw. Why do I feel a bit so friendly after I have you set and set? Oh, okay. I lost her. She's back at TBD. Oh, serious. And it's got to see you later. Right. Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book but then shut her out of? I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion. And everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm, 
who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez, whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. <sighs> you know, after ignoring WWE for so long, becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. Yeah. Okay, I read a uh, match at CBD. Okay, just go to the match right now. This is a moment of destiny for oh. a woman who spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena, Michael. Waiting on a champion uh, here. Uh, raw. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. Oh boy, here we go again. Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. And it looks like she's had about enough of it. No, no, guys, guys. It's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contenders match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show when suddenly, out of nowhere, three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up, excited to meet the women's world champion. And you know how Bianca is. She wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph. How those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight, we may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. I think so. Are you seriously booing children? Wow. What a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh, no. It's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action, just like at War Games. But these three women do not. Oh my, the cap has history with all these women. And we're oh. getting word from the truck that she'll be facing them in a fatal four-way. Miss Morgan, we repeat I think awesome. she said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Shotzi's curated a formidable challenge for the number one contender. Wow. Honestly, I'm just impressed that Shotzi managed to curate this match and three busloads of children in the same day. What? That was Shotzi? For God's sakes, catch up, Byron. Nonetheless, this is going to be a huge fatal four-way contest here on Raw. Like you said, Corey, Cat definitely has a target on her back. No more punishment. A truly stunning performance to win this fatal four-way match. Getting the best of yep. these three women was an incredible test of her abilities. A test she passed with flying colors. Yeah. Hey guys, Chrissy this video. I win the full four-way match. I mean. My car to the airport with some hell with Chrissy to an ancient youth and I miss the art. It's shocky. Do it, right? And we're talking shocking and then it's 
video. Let's go tell this video so I can get to subscribe to my channel and just to follow a like and I'll see you next time and Peace.